What's up, you guys? It's Susie. Hey, nice shirt. Oh, thank you. You're supposed to say, and Todd. Oh, and Todd. <laughs> From Hey Grill Hey. Uh, Todd is joining me in the backyard kitchen today because we're making one of his favorites. It is a restaurant style smoked turkey breast. Barbecue if restaurant. Ever style. been to a barbecue restaurant where they should serve that delectable, super juicy, thick sliced turkey that is smoky and luscious and melts in your mouth? That is what we're cooking today. We're gonna to show you guys how to do it. Let's go. All right, Todd, so give us the rundown on the type of turkey breast that we're cooking and why. Okay, now. I can't guarantee that the turkey breast you buy from your store will be as juicy as this one turns out. But these ones are, they're called Norbest Sweetheart Turkey Breasts. So we're super spoiled. We live in Utah and not a lot of people know this, but Utah is home to Norbest, which is a massive turkey facility. Like they grow big, beautiful turkeys, delicious Thanksgiving turkeys. We have specific, I have another smoked turkey breast recipe that's marinated. It's called Manti Turkey because Manti Utah is where that turkey is grown. And they come with these giant Tom turkey breasts. And a lot of your restaurants actually get breasts similar to these from their meat supplier. Yes. So you might have to like work at it a little bit, do a little bit of Googling, see where you can find yourself a turkey breast like this one. It is about six pounds. It's a big boy. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what, we've done other turkey breasts. Yeah. But these ones turn out the best every time 100 percent of the time they're juicy and incredible yep so these are pre-brined which means that they have been injected and soaked with a salt solution but you can brine them at home if you end up with turkey breasts that are unbrined i have a super simple brine recipe on my site typically it is a cup of salt to a gallon nope a half gallon of water um, and that's just a very simple saline solution that will infuse your turkey with yeah, nice yeah, salty yeah, flavor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's cook it. That was rude. But fair. Hey, <laughs> they just want to watch us cook the food. Okay, well, I'm telling them how to make a juicy turkey. I have to go film now. You already have a juicy, briny turkey video. We're just going to cook the turkey breast. Okay? okay, listen. Todd likes to keep things very simple. Sometimes I overcomplicate it. But I think the information helps. So pre brined turkey breast, six pounds. This came skin on, but we want to smoke them skin off. So I'm going to use my fillet knife, remove the skin from this turkey breast, and then it's going to be ready to season. Boom, just like that. Now, this guy needs to be seasoned and, hold on. Typically with our Thanksgiving style turkeys, we'll do a rub that has a lot of herbs in it. It's kind of a brown sugar style barbecue rub. That is not this turkey. This is, I mean, I don't wanna call it a Texas style turkey because it's not inherently from Texas. We're gonna call it, this is a Utah style smoked turkey breast. How about that? I'm gonna make up a rub for the outside that has a few different ingredients that I literally just pulled from my pantry. I've never made this before. <laughs> But we make homemade rubs all the time. I make rubs and sell rubs. Making rubs is one of my special talents, actually. So we're gonna throw together a turkey rub and I'll tell you how much and what's in it. I think the right base for any good barbecue rub is salt and pepper. So we're gonna do, let's say a quarter cup of salt and a quarter cup of coarse ground black pepper. And this is also coarse kosher salt. The texture is really important here when we're doing something as soft and delicate as a turkey. One, two, three, four. Quarter cup. Am I balling it? You guys should measure at home. This is really coarse black pepper. One, two, three, four. I'm also gonna add in some paprika. You can use smoked paprika, you can use regular paprika. I'm going with sweet paprika because that's what I had in my pantry. Uh, I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of paprika. One, two, two. It's very precise today. I also like a little bit of sweet 
with my turkey rubs, but I don't want it to be a sweet based rub. I really want the salt and pepper heavy. So I'm just gonna do probably two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. One, two. Now here's where we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I normally do, <clears throat> this is a very simple, super classic barbecue rub, not a lot of craziness. Another thing that's really common is garlic and onion powder, but I actually have uh, minced onion and minced garlic. I want that, like I said, texture on the outside is really important to me. So I'm gonna be doing a tablespoon each of freeze-dried minced garlic and onion. Then finally, I'm gonna add some celery seed. I think it is the most delicious classic barbecue flavor but with a really mild meat like turkey, it gives you a really nice, yummy, almost citrusy kick to your seasoning. I'm probably gonna do about two teaspoons here. Now, if you wanna add a little bit of heat, in addition to the black pepper, this is when you could add something like cayenne pepper or chipotle if you wanted an extra smoky heat but I think this is gonna be a great base for our turkey breast. If it was taught, it would just be salt and pepper for the record. Mm -hmm. But he left me in charge, so I get to have a little bit more fun. Before we smoke our turkey, we obviously need to season it. A lot of barbecue happens with a slather that helps the seasoning attached to the meat. I'm gonna be using avocado oil. This is gonna help our seasoning and bark kind of develop while we're on the smoker. But additionally, this oil on the outside is going to prevent this exterior from drying out. If you've ever been into a smoked turkey and like the whole seasoning peels away on the outside, it's because that exterior layer dried out and it happens all the time. So coating before we season and then I'm gonna spray it a couple times during the cooking process will really help prevent that from happening. I like avocado oil, but you can use olive oil or canola oil or your favorite cooking oil. All right, now we just season pretty liberally on the outside of our turkey breast. Look how chunky that is on the outside. I'm very excited about this texture situation. We're gonna be smoking our seasoned turkey breast on the Woodwind Pro today at 275 degrees. We've got cherry pellets in the hopper for color, that nice, rich mahogany color. We're gonna be adding post oak wood chunks to the additional firebox to give us that extra layer of true restaurant style smokiness. These usually take us about three hours, these six pound turkey breasts at 275. Obviously, we're gonna be checking a couple times throughout the cook to monitor our temperatures, and when we do, we're gonna spray with an additional layer of our cooking spray, again, to prevent that exterior from drying out and to help those smoke molecules stay stuck to the smoker. It looks so pretty. Look at that. Oh. You'll also notice I put the turkey breast on the upper rack of the smoker uh, with the firebox right underneath that lower level. Sometimes it can get a little bit hot underneath on the higher level. I feel like I get a little bit more extra smokiness and a little bit more, you know, even cooking. Ready. Todd, it's time. Turkey time? Turkey time. I just read the temperature. We're right between 155 and 160, which is actually not our end target temperature, but we want to take it off a little bit early because the last thing you want is dry turkey. This turkey is key. Turkey breast is lean. It will get up to a safe temperature. 165. Don't pull it at 165. Don't do it. Pull yep. it earlier. Early. So Earth. Todd's going to take it off and then we're going to just tent it with oil to help finish that cooking process and keep lots of moisture in there oh. and also oh. help soften the top. Oh I no, should not just have go done underneath. This. Here. should not have done this. Ready? I ruined the bark. You did. But I still love you. Hold that. There we go. Yeah, you kind of did. It's okay. How dare I? Listen, it was an honest mistake. It's all right, I got pretty shots of it already. I am immediately impressed with the color that we got out the outside of this turkey breast. Yeah. This is barbecue. <laughs> That is a barbecue turkey breast. Okay, 
I don't want to wrap it tightly with foil. Like I said, just tent it. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow. It's not windy. We're going to let this rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. It smells. Listen. Unbelievable. The Woodwind Pro with the post oak wood chunks, man. That smells like Texas. It smells. I'm so excited. Really good. It smells like Texas on our Utah turkey breast. We're going to grab a cutting board, slice this bad boy open, and then we get to eat some. We are rested. It is beautiful. It is ginormous. The mouth, the mouth is waters, Todd. All right, we're gonna get pretty shots and then Triple T gets to come in and have a bite. Taste test, Todd. That's, that's your nickname. That's me. Triple T. It's slicey, slicey time. Now you can go as thick or thin as you like here. Um, we'll usually do thicker slices if we're eating it as like the main protein for a meal. And I'll do, you know, almost half of it for like a family dinner. And then I'll fridge the other half. And when it's really cold, I'll slice it nice and thin for sandwiches throughout the week. So that way we get the best of both worlds, the big juicy eating pieces, and then the nice thin slices for sandwiches. Look at that smoke ring. Can you see the juicy? Mm hmm Look at that. You kidding me? Let's talk about it. I mean, we already mentioned the juiciness. Like, it was just actively dripping <laughs> after I sliced it. Uh, smoke ring is delightfully pronounced and on poultry sometimes a little bit of pink can scare people but this is fully cooked we use our thermometer to test it of course and that pink on the outside is just a beautiful indicator of the work that we did plus look at this crusty yummy smoky mahogany exterior tell me how we did on the rub Tadio. that rub was good I got the celery seed like right off the bat. Mmm. Mm. Very traditional barbecue flavors. Just enough salt, just enough heat from the black pepper. The celery seed it really is a delightful addition. I'm taking thick boy. I did slice a thick boy. Oh, that is so good. Mm. This is one of the simplest recipes that you can do at home. Honestly. The hardest part might just be <laughs> sourcing the giant turkey breasts, but incredibly easy. Keep it simple, keep it delicious, make juicy, yummy barbecue. I don't know what else to say about it. It's not, oh, for those concerned about the brown sugar, is it sweet? No. It's just enough to provide balance. That's all I have. You're gonna have to finish this. So, if you cook this recipe, mm. tag us on social media. Why do you always sound like you're mocking me when you do it? No, because I don't know it's what the to worst. say. No, it's because I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> you're just so good at it. Listen, cook some smoked turkey. Mm -hmm. Let us know when you do. Mm -hmm. We love doing this, and we thank you guys for watching. It's always a party. Sorry I'm in the video more, but people are asking for it and I've got to give the people what they want. <laughs> the people want Taste Test Todd. What can we say? Mm. All right. Home, See you guys next time. Bye. Turkey wave.